being of uh, Ernest Reed, Ernest and Peggy Reed were, were my mom and dad. Uh, they uh, made cheese uh, all their lives. Uh, actually, my dad started to make cheese at Enterprise Price Cheese Factory, which is uh, the sixth concession of Robin, and that's where I was born in 1947. Uh, my dad made cheese there to about 1951. Then he moved to Evergreen Cheese Factory, which is just east of Sterling. Uh, he made cheese there for the co-op, which was owned by the farmers. But in 1957, he actually bought the cheese factory. He was one of the only first people in this area to actually privately own a cheese factory. Uh, he never looked back. He, uh, he worked hard. My mom worked hard. And uh, they made cheese, like I say, right through until uh, they sold the factory in 1979. This is my dad in Ernest Street uh, that uh, went to Kentville Agriculture College. Uh, my dad went there in 1945. And I went to myself, Ron Reed, in 1967, and my brother, Gary Reed, went there in uh, 1970. Uh, this is where all the people went to, uh, to learn the course uh, of cheese making, butter making, ice cream making. They went to uh, Kentville Agriculture College. Now, they don't do that today, but at that time, uh, through the winter months when they were not busy, uh, January, February, March, uh, the people went there, and that's where they got their certificate, first class cheese certificate to make cheese. Uh, it can be all your culture call. This is the equipment that was used at Campbell Oil Culture College. You'll notice it's a smaller version of the big uh, equipment that they use today. Uh, and that's what they used a small butter churn, and the ice cream maker, no, it's a small one. Just see. The separator and clarifier, just a small version of it. And the cheese vat over there actually held one. Uh, 1,000 pounds of milk and made 100 pounds of cheddar cheese. Uh, and that's a curd mill that's standing over top of it. But it was just small. The, the fats that we used uh, when a lot of these people were going to school were actually 14 to 16,000 pounds, and this held 1,000 pounds. Ernest and Peggy Reed bought the Evergreen factory at a time when farmers were told they couldn't take whey home in milk cans. Whey is the liquid left after cheese is made and it used to be fed to the pigs. The farmers were also told they couldn't keep pigs and cows in the same barn, so they gave up keeping pigs. Cheesemakers like the Reeds were then responsible for disposing of the whey. Instead of dumping it in the nearby creek, the Reeds installed sprinklers to spread it on the fields. They then had to build lagoons to store the whey in winter, linked to the factory by a mile of special expensive pipe. Cheesemakers face more and more regulations and increased competition from corporations like Kraft with its processed cheese. The government gave grants to close the smaller cheese factories and gradually, one by one, they shut up shop. And actually, that's my father, Ernest Reed, uh, with no shirt on, uh, but that picture was taken on the day that I was born, May the 8th, 1947. That's kind of the way they worked back in them days. It was hot, hot work, and uh, hit the shirts off. They wouldn't do that now. Mm -hmm.